day two, Abu Dhabi. So, what is the plans today? Well, first things first, we didn't actually try any authentic food because, as you saw, we got a McDonald's. We were a little bit rushed off our feet trying to get to the uh, mosque yesterday. So, as a result, we didn't really get to try anything authentic. Now, thankfully, where we're staying in the Executive Suites Hotel, they do offer a few breakfast options. So, let's have a closer look. So, we have an American breakfast here, which is 30 AED or Arab Emirates dim dirhams. We've got an Arabic breakfast, we've got an Emirati breakfast, Indian breakfast, and various other selections. So, I'm looking here at the Arabic breakfast. Also kind of curious about the Emirati breakfast, but I'm a big fan of omelettes for madams. Uh, I've always wanted to try Labine. Um So I may give this one a go. It sounds very, very interesting. So if you're curious, let me see if I can get in. There you go, that's what it's got. And hopefully at some point I'll get to try one of them. So once we've done that, we're hoping to go and visit what's known as a Corniche. I hope I'm, I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So uh, this is how you spell it. And essentially what a Corniche is, or Corniche is, is a place near the sea, basically a beach of sorts, but it's not a beach. It's specifically a, ple a place near the sea. But there's a place here called the Cornish Beach. And it's very, very beautiful, and very, very popular. Um, and even, even though it's the hottest time of the year, for us English people at least, it's still it's quite warm. So we're gonna go and give the beach a little visit um, and see what it's like there. So join us as we go and have our breakfast and go and explore further. Not a bad place to be having some breakfast, just ordered now. I've got the Arabic one, uh, Tammy's got the uh, the American one and uh, yeah, just waiting now and uh, very excited. <laughs> Here we go. So, got my four madams. My omelette four madam is like fava beans that are mashed up. I got some feta cheese with some um, cucumbers, some fresh fruit, which is very nice. I got myself a green tea as well. So, which is like a yogurt, some Arabic bread. And Tammy's got pancakes, omelette, croissants, fresh fruit, jams, toast, and we've both got an orange juice as well. So let's do this. There we go. There was breakfast. That was so tasty. I don't intend to film myself eating because, uh, well, if you want to go and watch stuff like that, there's plenty of channels on YouTube for that. Uh, but I like to show you the food and occasionally I'll, I'll eat a bit. But I doubt you want to sit there watching me in my glory chewing on a bunch of food anyway so I thought I'd leave you uh leave you leave you that part out <laughs> but um yeah the the breakfast was so nice so the full madams were uh, they're basically fava beans which have been mashed up with various things like lemon juice and oil and stuff like that um the rabbinet that's how you say it um is is that what it is rabbinet yeah that's like a, a yogurt and it had olive oil, like a well of olive oil in the center. Um, and that was very nice. They had some traditional Arabic bread, which uh, it was very, very soft, very nice. Uh, used that to scoop up a lot of the things. Um, and then there was also some fruits. Um, and then they also served like butter and jam and juices and some feta cheese as well. The feta cheese was ever so salty though. That was the only downside. It's very different to Greek feta cheese. Greek feta cheese is quite sour where it was quite salty here. I still liked it, it was, it was still very pleasant. But uh, just wanted to touch on uh, eating actually, because there's uh, quite an important rule that you should uh, be aware of in these parts of the world. So if you're like me, you may prefer to eat with your hands. Now you don't have to, uh, they provide you have a knife and fork most places you go, but if you are in a situation where you do need to eat with your hands, do bear in mind that you should always use your right hand to eat. Using the left hand is considered incorrect and, you know, not very hygienic, I guess. And the reason for that is, is because the left hand is traditionally used in the bathroom or in the toilet. <laughs> so, um, you know, 
if you're using your right hand, that's obviously seen to be very you know, unclean. And obviously, uh, if you pass somebody some money, or if you um, give somebody a business card or shake their hand, use your right hand because your left hand is only for that purpose in this part of the world, obviously. So do keep that in mind. That's a uh, tradition that you should be aware of. So in terms of the cost, so Tammy, as well, if you're curious, she had an American breakfast. And you can see it there. Omelette, pancake, hash brown, grilled sausage, fresh fruit cuts, some croissants, toast of bread and butter, jam. Very, very good. 30 AED for that. AED is uh, Arab Emirates dinar, by the way, if you're curious what that stands for. Um, the whole thing in total came to 75. So I'll put the conversions for that on the screen now. So it's a very, very good deal. Uh, fantastic. Uh, the people that are ever so friendly, very kind. I did speak a little bit of Arabic to them. It says shukran laziz. Laziz means uh, delicious. Um, I said ma salama, which means uh, it means goodbye when I when I left. Um, and when you say shukran, I've noticed that people could put their hand on their heart like that. Like yeah, I really mean it. So that's that's really nice. So I started doing that as well. Um, so. Yeah, just traditions, customs. You know, when I go to a different place, I do try and follow the traditions and customs as best as I can. Obviously, I'm English and our traditions and customs are very, very different, but I do try my best to follow everywhere that I go and show respect where I can. So, with that in mind, the goal today will be to go to the Cornish Beach and go and explore and have a little look around Abu Dhabi some more. So, join us and we'll go and explore some, some more of the city. All right, people, so checked out of the hotel, and there it was there, the executive suites. Very, very nice place. And uh, what we're doing now is we're heading over to the bus. The stop's just there, so right outside the hotel. Very lucky. And we're gonna go to the Corniche Beach. So if you saw the first video, you'll see that we got a, uh, a Hafiat, I think that's how you say it, or Hafet, um, bus card and you can buy them from uh, the airport you can buy a temporary one and then you can recharge them at various recharging stations and we've got eight pound sorry eight dirham left in ours so that should be enough to get to the uh the beach and then possibly to the airport so let's do this There we go. Made it to the Corniche area. As you can see, the beach is just over here. And what a view. So we're gonna spend a few hours here basking by the beach, enjoying the day. It's a very nice sunny day today. And then we're gonna go and look for a fridge magnet for my wife because she loves to collect fridge magnets. And then we're gonna to head to the airport to go to our next destination. So if you stick to the end of the video, you will find out where that is. So let's go and explore Abu Dhabi and the beach a little bit closer. Okay, so if you're coming to visit the beach, there's just a few regulations and rules you need to be aware of. So you wanna exit the water after sunset, obviously for safety concerns. You wanna wear the appropriate clothing, so you don't be wearing bikinis, obviously. You know, there's uh, laws and stuff that should be followed. Uh, unruly behaviours will lead to illegal consequences, or sorry, legal consequences, shall I say. Uh, alcohol violates the beach regulations. Children are a responsibility of their accompanied adults. So obviously uh, I can't take many photos or videos of the beach, but uh, I will try to uh, I'll try to capture what I can for the very sake of the memories but I'll make sure to do it where there's no people present as I don't want to be disturbing people's privacy okay so I visited the beach and if I'm gonna be honest I was a little bit underwhelmed I can't take any videos on the beach itself because there's some babies and of course I want to respect their privacy with or without that law in place so uh, yeah if I'm honest to review, I, I don't like to diminish any 
anyone's country or things. But the beach gets a lot of hype on Instagram. <laughs> but in reality, it's very small. It's not much there. Um, and it was quite crowded. Quite a lot of people. It wasn't really anywhere we could sit, so we just took a little seat on the corner. But the blue, the, 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 yeah, the, the sea's very blue and stuff. So there is that. But um, yeah, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I wasn't, I was blown away. It didn't blow my mind. But this is, that's the thing. You can't, you can't be, you can't be blown away by everything. You know, some things, uh, some things are what they are. But that's my honest review. If you're curious of the beach, but don't let them put you off, do visit. We're not really beach people either. But uh, we're going to try and find a fridge magnet now. Tommy's been asking. So uh, that's the next goal. I'm going to do a little boardwalk tour for you. So you can have a, have a look and see what it's about. Got a nice little restaurant here. Should we go and have a closer look, Tom? Got various sandwiches and stuff like that. Juices. Shawarma. Oh, I love a good shawarma. Teas, coffees, wraps. Yeah, very nice. Here we go, people. So these are the prices you'd expect. So this is Ala Barak. Ala Barak restaurant. No, I do apologise. So they've got various milkshakes, 18 dirham. I'll tell you how much that is in the description, or sorry, on the screen. Banana split plate oh there you go 18 is uh, you probably can't see it it's not very good lighting three three pound 85 three pound 85 and if you find that for me in euros and dollars because that's what i do you got shish tawuk as well which i quite like we've got parata in dollars that is i went for a shawarma 15 in dollars that is $490. $490. And yeah. in Euro. I'm also thinking about going for this as well, Gimats. I'll get a small one of them before we head off. Um, yeah, I quite like the look of that. But then you've got burgers as well and cappuccinos. But yeah, we got a water. It's quite warm today, so. Um, yeah. I can think of worse, worse views to okay. enjoy it. So oh, in Euros, Euros, it's 448 Euros. So, yeah. There's the rest of the beach, I think that's the family side. I'm not entirely sure if me and Tammy could have gone on the family beach because I did see couples going on there. But uh, yeah, it's quite a small beach. That's more or less the size of uh, the non-family size beach as well, really. But um, nonetheless, it's still a lovely day. There you go, shawarma wrap and some chips. Let's get a closer look. Oh nice, there you go. Happy days, so I'm gonna get stuck into that. All right, done. So that came up to 21 dirham. What did you say that was, Tam? Four pound 50. Four pound 50. We'll put the other conversions down below. Four pound 50 for a shawarma. It was quite spicy, but very tasty. Some chips, there was chips inside the shawarma and two waters, 450, four pound 50. I mean, this is on the tourist trail as well, I'd imagine. So genuinely quite surprised as, as to how cheap that was. But um, to be honest, I think where we, where we had our dinner, obviously with it being a four star hotel, would have been higher prices now. To be honest, it's straight, this, this has been a strange journey for me and Tammy. So usually on Team McGrath, we try to be very untouristy. Well, I kind of feel like we've been very touristy this uh, trip, but it's because this is a city built for tourists. You know, it's glittering, it's beautiful, it's gleam, shiny. It has all the things that a tourist could need. So as much as I wanted to go out and explore some of the more rural areas where the locals live actually it's quite difficult because getting a bus you know we currently have 12 dirhams oh, sorry eight dirhams well now six six dirhams left on our card and each trip costs a minimum of two so every time you have to hop on a new bus that's two more 
So you can imagine how quickly that can start racking up. So here's the machines where you can uh, recharge your card. And there's a few of the bigger ones as well. But if you put it there, it should tell me my balance. There we go. So I've got 623. That should be enough to get me back to the airport. And uh, yeah, essentially you can pay a little bit of money here. I'm going to tell you there in English, look. Place and keep the card on the card holder. And then uh, I believe you make, you can insert your cash just here into this machine. So these machines only take cash. That's why we had a bit of a problem topping up because you could only do this by cash. So uh, do be aware of that, but that is a heavier machine. So if we could offer any travel advice, I think it would be to travel with the locals. I think that's a mistake that a lot of people make. They just literally get on the nearest taxi and they often get overcharged by, you know, taxi meters, which are, you know, unmetered or not a fixed price. And as a result, people leave feeling very, very annoyed and with a big bill in their pockets. We've traveled with the locals across the entire bus system using the uh, Hafilat card. I think it's Hafilat. I don't know how to pronounce it. You have to correct me in the comments. I've traveled, we've traveled everywhere and we've only spent 20 dirham. So that, it just goes to show, traveling with the locals is more authentic and also a lot more fun and cheaper. So definitely do that on your future trip. Let's share our final thoughts of Abu Dhabi. So Tam, I'll, I'll, I'll let you start. I like it. What do you like? Just what is there not to like is beautiful. <laughs> a lady, a few words. <laughs> right, what did I think? Well, first and foremost, I obviously love the country. I love the prices. I love the people. I love the food and the climate and the atmosphere. It's a very, very clean city and it's very modern. However, there are some negatives for me. I feel the city is somewhat cookie cutter. What do I mean by cookie cutter? If you haven't heard that expression before, it means uh, think of like a piece of dough and I've got a cookie shaped like a gingerbread man or like a star and I'm cutting out different cookie shapes and every single cookie shape is the same. That's kind of how this city feels to me in some ways. Like we walk around all the districts and it feels like everything really kind of looks the same. Big, tall, polished buildings, immaculate streets. Everything's very clean and very nice, which is obviously very pleasant for us. But um, it just feels like if you have, if you ever played uh, Sim City, but if you've built a city in Sim City and you've just placed loads of random districts down, and let them grow. It's kind of like Sim City in real life. It's the best way I could describe this place. It is Sim City in real life. The yeah. only thing I didn't like was like they were trying to coerce us into buying. Yes. Oh yeah. A lot of I wouldn't say coerce. There was no like no, threatening like, behaviour. No, come here. Like, None of that. Not what like, you'd get in Turkey or Egypt. But like basically, they were like, here, come sniff this, and if you're saying no, they're like, oh, but, but come, come, come. Yes. And they're very insistent. And obviously we understand they're just trying to make money but at the same I'm, time it's i'm one of these if i'm interested in something i'll go we will to go myself. to them that's it and we we didn't like that aspect obviously in the uk if you want to purchase something you purchase whereas here like people be waiting outside the store to invite you in and obviously it could be a part of the culture here but for us it's just very uncomfortable you're walking around the store and you're being like there's loads of people right, trying to get you in everyone, every right? single like literally we're walking we're like oh no thank you literally a few sets forward someone else no thank you like, was like yesterday because obviously we went to um the mosque didn't we and obviously i got that that dress thing mm -hmm. and obviously I, I literally had that on all day yesterday and i yeah. um, and we went inside a mall and literally as soon as we walked in there was like a stand like a shop and there was like, madam, do you want a headscarf? And I was like, no, thank you. I've, I've got one. I don't, you know what I mean? Don't need another one, don't yeah. Don't need another one. Yeah, that's what I mean. She was wearing a headscarf and they were still trying to sell her headscarves. So uh, that's, that's, that's a little bit frustrating um, from our perspective. It's very, very common, like in this part of the world, obviously. But um, obviously walking down a, a mall, usually you just want to be able to like, make the walk through without any issues. But for us, we had to, it, it, you're just getting past all of the people that wanted to sell us stuff like made made it even longer so that was the one downside so the cookie cutter kind of vibe and the uh the over 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 polish i guess you could say because i like a bit of roughness around the edges that's one thing i did kind of like about greece was that 
amongst all the history and beauty it's very very rough but I kind of like that because uh, we both grew up in a quite a rough area so we weren't averse to that idea so that's our thoughts so in terms of where we're going next so today we're getting on a flight and we are going to Muscat in Oman so I don't know if you've been there before or familiar with it but it's about an hour and a half away from here and uh, it's a significantly like different place so like for instance it's more traditional it's less uh less touristy you know it's more um more kind of that more like middle eastern arabic vibe that we're looking for so we're gonna go and visit there meet some people we've got a, uh, an airbnb booked so we're gonna give a tour of that and uh yeah we're very excited to go and see it we've got a really uh, we actually got upgraded believe it or not yes, our home the uh not like, you know sorry go on so i got a like phone call on whatsapp from the manager of the airbnb that we were staying in um and obviously i couldn't hear him properly because obviously the signal difference um so obviously we were texting each other and he was saying that there's some major works going on in the actual hotel that we were staying well airbnb that we were staying in something to do with um gas gas pipes or something like that and then they actually upgraded us to like it's another apartment of theirs but it's like more of a more five, more, modern, more modern more 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 yeah. high, higher end which yeah. is it's not the first time we've been upgraded due to an issue with the uh, the apartment we stayed in so we, we went, when we went to prague in the czech republic <laughs> when we went to prague um we uh our, our apartment for some reason they couldn't give us it so they gave us a four-star hotel instead and that was quite a nice upgrade as well so sometimes we're quite lucky on team mcgrath but uh, we don't seek out luxury we don't seek no. out opulence we just kind of sometimes happen to to get it by by yeah. virtue of luck we're one of these that doesn't matter where it is the cheaper the better it's yeah just somewhere to lay your head, just somewhere to lay your head we're not bothered about yeah if it's comfortable and you can have a drink and relax and unwind mm. not alcoholic obviously here but if you can have a nice cup of tea and relax and enjoy your time then that's all we need we don't need anything opulent as long as there's hot running water fresh fresh drinkable water if, if we're in a country where we can do that then we're happy we're not we're not very fussy so we're quite lucky in that respect that we've stayed in some nice places during this trip um so yeah please join us on the uh, trip to uh oman in muscat that will be going on on uh, up next week Sunday 12 p.m. Uh, that's the time that we schedule every single recording so uh, every single time 12 p.m. you keep your eyes peeled there probably will be a new video on our channel unless we're not traveling then there'll probably be stuff from the UK because we like to show our home homeland as well so do keep your eyes peeled but uh, most importantly we really appreciate you watching the video uh, we hope you've had a great you know day and uh, we hope we've inspired you to travel and uh, come and see the world it's so worth it the people are brilliant and uh, life is one big experience so do live it as best you can so thank you again have a wonderful day people and we will see you on the flip side take care